Lots of animals use sounds to communicate. But the complex language abilities we humans have make us stand out from the rest. How did we evolve such an amazing way to share ideas with one another? And why can't other species, even other primates, do what we do? When you speak, it's the brain's job to plan out what you want to say. Broca's area, in the frontal lobe on the left side of the brain, plays a key role in doing that. When you've got a mental representation of what you're going to say, the motor cortex sends instructions for the vocal tract to produce the correct sounds. The brain does the work of understanding speech when you hear it, too. Wernicke's area, in the temporal lobe on the left side of the brain, is an area vital to language processing. We produce speech sounds by using the muscles and structures in the vocal tract to modify a stream of air as it is exhaled from the lungs. Muscles in the larynx control the tension of the vocal folds, which produce sound by vibrating when air moves between them. The tongue impedes the flow of air either fully or partially by coming in contact with the oropharyngeal wall, soft palate, and hard palate. The lips and teeth can also stop or impede airflow. We can change the shape of the oral cavity, and therefore change the quality of the resulting sound by rounding the lips or adjusting the position of the tongue. The evolution of speech is a complex field of study. Estimates for when humans began speaking vary widely, somewhere between 2 million years ago and 50,000 years ago. Compared to our closest primate relatives, we have notable differences in vocal tract anatomy. For example, the human larynx is located lower than the larynx in chimpanzees. We also have more refined breath control and we lack vocal membranes that many other primates have. There are some important genetic differences, too. FOXP2 is a gene present in most animals and has been connected to forms of complex vocal communication like birdsong. In humans, FOXP2 regulates at least 116 other genes and is involved in the development of brain areas associated with vocalization. Mutations of this gene have been shown to cause speech and language disorders. Genes provide the instructions for making proteins, and the human FOXP2 protein is slightly different than the protein produced by the FOXP2 gene in chimpanzees. However, the evolution of a complex behavior like language is ultimately not as simple as a single gene or a single difference in the vocal tract. This means there's still a lot to learn and discover about the way language works and how it evolved. Want to learn more about the anatomy and physiology of the brain and vocal tract? Visible Body Suite has all the 3D models and animations you need. Check it out at visiblebody.com slash vbsuite.